Hello Bampton fans and welcome to this Yonex Nanoflare 370 speed badminton racket review and this is racket test number 661. So the Nanoflare range in general, the availability on these rackets is really, really good worldwide, Asia, uh, Europe and so on, all quite easy to get hold of. Um, price in the UK currently is around the £85 mark, um, so that's, that's, I think that's a good price range for the racket. I think given its performance it puts it into competition with the right level of uh, other rackets. Um, now let's go through the specifications and compare them to our own E-Zone specification testing. So the weight of this racket it's a 4U category racket, so 80 to 85 grams. The uh, E-Zone, the E-Zone weight test shows it to weigh, get my E-Zone page up, 88.7 grams, so still not bad. Um, that's with Yonex BG65 string and the grip supplied by Yonex, and this is a G4 grip. Right, balance point on this racket. Uh, manufacturer claims it to be a head, it doesn't say on the racket now, we, we, information we've gathered that we've put on the E-Zone page. Manufacturer says this is a headlight racket. According to the E-Zone balance point testing, this has a quite significant bearing of weight towards the head. So in this direction of the shaft and Yeah, I think it is. Um, I think it does have weight more towards the head. It certainly doesn't feel even or headlight. Um, the sh the according to Yonex, the shaft stiffness is stiff. According to the E Zone testing, this is a medium flex racket. Right, the design uh, and build where we all know Yonix is going to build high quality uh, rackets. So actually no, so what I'm talking about, let me go on to the other stuff. Um, maximum string tension on this is 27 pounds. Um, don't have the materials, not on the E-Zone page either. Isometric head, sonic flare system, no. Um, what we do, uh, also the, this racket is made in Taiwan. Um, so produced to a really decent quality. The design of the uh, Nano Flare range all quite similar. They have two contrasting primary colours, in this case black and a luminous yellow, and then some graphics in the head and on the shaft. Nothing particularly exciting. Executed very well though to a very high quality, but just not particularly exciting. Take a look at these close-up images and see what you think for yourself. Okay, so now we've been through the specifications, let's now move on to the Racket E-Zone. Okay, so before we start our E-Zone testing, what do you need to know about how we test our rackets? Well, first of all, we use the same shuttles. The Yonix AS30 is on all tests. We string, restring all of the rackets with Yonix BG65 at 25 pounds tension. And it's the same player taking all of the shots. Right, now you have some basic understanding of how we test. Let's move on to the smash test. The smash shot that you're seeing here and for all of the rackets we've tested within Bamton Racket Reviews E-Zone, uh, we take generally six shots. We take the two highest uh, racket uh, shuttle speeds and we average those to give us a uh, overall speed. If those, two, uh, if those two readings are not within a certain percentage of each other, 
we then retake the entire test. This shot measures the shuttle speed uh, coming off the racket head and also if you go across to the E zone you'll see a picture similar to the one you're looking at on the screen now which accompanies every single racket within the E zone so that's nearly 650 or more rackets with this kind of smash JPEG showing you the racket head speed, the shuttle speed, the distance and the approximate repulsion of the racket. Right, our first test in the E-Zone is the smash test. Let's do it now. Okay, it's time now for a E-Zone manoeuvre test. The manoeuvre shots was designed to tell us about the racket's acceleration abilities, its ability to shift from one direction to the other or shift quickly from nothing to full speed. It also tests the racket's um, aerodynamics. In this test, the player is sitting still with the racket and once the shuttle is fired which we, and we measure the shuttle speed to ensure we have uh, consistency within the tests so it's coming at the same speed all the time or roughly the same speed as, as, as much as we can control anyway um, and then the player reacts once the shuttle is fired to hit the shuttle and we are measuring the head speed of the racket during that test. Okay, now we want to see how good this racket is at controlling the shuttlecock. Let's go across to the E-Zone control test. The E-Zone control test is a simple test. It's, uh, we've, we've had a lot of comments about this test. Uh, the first thing you should know is that 14 shots are in total are taken, not just what you see on camera. Um, the player is aiming for the green bucket which scores the highest, the grey bucket scores slightly less than anything in the net or out scores nothing at all. Now the same rules apply on this test as they do on any other court test, it's the same shuttle, it's the same string, same tension, same player. Um, now we have um, retaken the test with the same racket to see what kind of variation we get and we generally find that the results are within 10 to 12 percent of each other so the, the test is not that bad and it is generally very hard to come up with a control test uh, that's better than this. We've tried. So, but if any of you have any suggestions on how we should proceed with control tests in the future, please do give constructive answers that are helpful. Right, so the specification, the specification testing has been done, the E-Zone testing has been done, what do we think of this racket? Um, well, before we go on to that, just to mention again, um, at the end of this month, hopefully, or in August at some point, there is a website due to open called uh, Badminton HQ, and we should be able to get really good deals on rackets like these and many others. Um, we will keep you posted as to uh, the updates. If you're an E-Zone member, we will put links in the E-Zone page for each individual racket. So what do we think of this racket? Well, um, I think that the 700 is genuinely the better racket. Um, sorry. Um, and it, although the 700 does cost significantly more, uh, almost double more, the cost of this racket it does outperform it 
um, as it should do. Um, the only thing I can say about this racket really is it doesn't it doesn't offer a great smash. It's not particularly fast in the air compared to other rackets like the Venom would outpace this in the air easily. Um, it doesn't have the smash power of the Kawasaki King K9 or the Honor S6. Uh, it doesn't have the all-round abilities of the um, Gravitas by um, Goosen. It doesn't have the speed uh, of the... And in actual, it doesn't have the all-round performance of the leaning 3D Calibre 001-001. So, it falls into a weird area in terms of pricing. Personally, I would either go up or down in terms of pricing. So I would go down to the Venom, uh, no brainer. The Nano 9900, not as fast, about as fast as this, same speed in the air, um, but has a larger sweet spot than the Venom. The Venom is just a lethal racket all round. Um, the Adidas Spila, big splash power on that racket, not as fast, again, same speed in the air, but really good splash power. 3D Calibre 001 by leaning is around the 50, 60 pound mark. Uh, and then stepping up just a little bit, you have the Kawasaki King K9 or you have the Mizuno JPX range. That's probably where I'd head. Um, in terms of using this racket, it doesn't, it offers a, only an okay smash, only just about okay in defense, just about below average on drives. Um, it, the only thing it really has got going for it is control. I wouldn't rate it for anything over and above that. Um, so the overall conclusion is, despite the price being quite reasonable, it's still going to be a, a thumbs down on this racket. Um, I, as you may have seen on some of the other rackets, I've been really divided, really hard to make a call on them. Some of them just real difficult task to uh, conclude, but this one is quite clear. Um, definitely you can do better. Uh, if you want to see everything and you want to know everything about this racket, or you want to know it in more and more detail, head over to the E-Zone where we test the overhead ability, we test the smash, drive, control, repulsion, defense. All of that is done on the E-Zone and you can see um, us, uh, you, well you'll see me talking about them in greater detail and telling you exactly how it feels in each area to use. So you're gonna get the E-Zone page which is covered in information and then you're also gonna get this video review in the middle of the page which really just puts a cherry on the cake in terms of everything you need to know in respect to this racket. Um, outside of that, I think uh, I'm all good in terms of the racket. If you don't know what the E-Zone is, please wait and there will be a video tour after this video of the E-Zone. If you're using this racket already, you intend to buy this racket, leave a review. If you're an E-Zone member, thousands of people visiting the E-Zone every month, leave a review there. So important that other users, all users get to see what other users feel and think and experience uh, with a racket. Um, our forums, uh, sorry, our social platforms, if you leave a review there, they behave much like, say, Amazon, where you can leave a review, um, without any concern like in the forums of getting ba a backlash of people criticizing if we see that going on we will just ban people who are just trying to be abusive they can just go somewhere else and get their reviews somewhere else so be please all of you feel free to leave reviews uh, outside of that thank you heartfelt thank you from the badminton racket review team support has reached all corners of the uh, world now it's growing and growing and growing. E-Zone has got thousands of people visiting. Um, absolutely honoured uh, to be able to offer the service to the E-Zone platform along with these uh, social media video videos. I mean, these videos are just a quick synopsis of each racket. They're not the full in detail, in depth version. That is what the E-Zone is for. But we want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support, for the constructive criticism, for the help tips, for the for the compliments for everything that you guys do thank you so much and uh, just keep the likes going keep the sharing going and outside of that thank you and i'll see you on the next video